they look even better than why the hell is this dog barking he's so rude anywho hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Petra and I try and make um, weekly videos about fashion a bit of vlog and obviously now luxury because I am a beautiful black woman who deserves to be showered in luxury whether it be by me by Bay, it will happen so as you can tell by the title this is going to be a 2021 luxury wish list and these are things that I took time into pulling together these are things that I know I like I know I want and I will be getting because we put things out there we put it to God we put it to the universe and we receive there is power in the tongue there is power in the tongue guys I have five categories and the first thing I'm going to talk about is fragrances so the first on my fragrance list is the Dior Oud Ispahan Ispahan I think so I smelt this fragrance in Selfridges when I went shopping with Dina and I fell in love it smells so good so obviously it's an oud and it's not like one of those oud scents that that's overpowering and also you need literally two pumps the guy at the counter put two pumps on me and um, he actually offered it I was like yes please and I had that scent on me the next day even though I had had a shower. So Simon picked me up from the station when I came back and he was like, what's that smell? It smells so good. I was just like, it's Dior. And my brother was at ours and he, as soon as I came in, I was like saying my hellos to him. He was just like, why do you smell so nice? And I instantly regretted not buying it. But it's on the list for this year. The next two fragrances are both from Le Labo. The first is the Noir 29. I have to thank Dina for this because she put me on this brand. I'd never heard of them before. And this, the Noir 29, smells so good. If you get the opportunity, go smell it. It smells nice. And then the next Lalabo scent is Centaur 33. I've got that on right now. I'm not going to try and explain it because I can't. I'm really bad at explaining stuff. I cannot describe anything at all but it smells good i smell really nice so they just gave me like a little tester and it's just so powerful it's so 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 nice i really like it so those are the three fragrances i want to get um this year and i'll most probably get around my birthday next are jewelry pieces the first being the louis vuitton louise hoop earrings it would have been ideal if it was called the Louisa Hoop Earrings because my name is Petra Louisa but I'm not going to get into that. I really want this in the silver colour because I literally wear just silver jewellery. I don't feel like gold looks good on me and I wish it did but I digress. I want it. It's a classic Louis Vuitton fashion jewellery piece and it's... Oh, I was going to say it's not that expensive. It's £420 for jewellery um, but I want it so... It will be bought this year the next two pieces are from tiffany and co and it's the return to tiffany earrings and necklace so the necklace piece that i want is the chain link one and i have it with the intention of layering it with this necklace that simon got me a few christmases ago um it's white gold and diamonds and i love it i never take it off so that's why i want the chain link um return to tiffany necklace with the intention of wearing it with this because this will never come off and i just i like the layering necklace look and i want to get it with the earrings because it will match and i'll be matchy matchy like a grown woman should be you know what i'm saying next it's probably my favorite category sunglasses i am a sunglasses babe I know word of a lie that person had a massive box of just sunglasses from New Look, Topshop, ASOS, Primark, I don't know where else, but High Street sunglasses, I had a lot of and they all went to Sierra Leone because my mum stole my box and shipped it all without my knowledge. But that's fine. I'll just get new ones. I actually bought myself the what's it called Bottega Veneta sunglasses like a greeny it's a beautiful pair I showed that in my vlog 
and I've added one, two, three, four, five to my list that I will be getting um, this year. So the first is the Jacquemus. I don't know how to say it or pronounce it, so I'll just put a picture. This is a bad bitch pair of sunglasses and I want it. I want it in the clear orange um, colour and I want it now. The next two are Balenciaga and I'm probably going to get these two and another one around my birthday. So the first Balenciaga pair is the Balenciaga Graphic Rectangle Metal Sunglasses. This is a she has not come here to play, she is here to slay, move out of her way pair of sunglasses. I need it. It's just, it's a statement piece. It's like, oh, it's beautiful. Imagine that with an all black outfit. Mm, and the, that short woman from the Incredibles movie, like that kind of haircut. Yeah, I want that. I, oh, I was so close to buying this. As soon as I saw it, I was so close to buying it, but I was just like, no, hold up, just wait, wait a minute. You need like that statement pair. And I feel like the Jacquemus one is also a statement pair, but it's a different statement. Whereas this is a don't talk to me statement pair. Another don't talk to me statement pair is the Balenciaga Power Oversized Cat Eye Sunglass. Oh my gosh, this sunglass is, oh, it is, I love it. It's big. And it's just in your face and it's again don't talk to me sunglasses and i love it those two are musts i want both of them along with this one so this one's completely different this is a more simple she's cute she's friendly come talk to her vibe and it's the Miu Miu logo sunglasses and it's in like this beige pink color i want this so bad and that, along with the Balenciaga pairs, will be bought around my birthday. I just love sunglasses so much. And then the last pair are the Chanel Shield sunglasses. This is rich auntie vibe, like full on rich auntie vibe. It has Chanel written out at the top. Enough said, I don't need to add anything else to it. It's just nice. I'm not a massive fan of Chanel, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like for what you get, it's a bit overpriced, you know what I'm saying? But those sunglasses are beautiful. I saw this video of this woman, a black woman. She was dripped in luxury and she was just looking sweet. And I was just like, yo, those sunglasses are really nice. And it's simple yet statement, Chanel. Next are footwear. So the first that I'm gonna discuss is the Louis Vuitton timeout trainer. I saw this however many years ago and no one was talking about this and at that point I just started working and with the salary I was on there I couldn't really justify buying 600 and something pound pair of trainers. Now I can and I will. This pair of trainers, like they're beautiful, they're so nice. What I love is that it has a platform, I'm a small lady. I'm very short and sometimes I just like a boost, you know? Another trainer that I want is the Chanel trainer. So I'm not sure what the style is called, but I want it either the white or the baby blue, like the pastel pale blue. Oh, they are beautiful and I really, really want them. But I'm also like, I don't like Chanel like that. For what you're getting, is it worth the price? I don't know, someone tell me, but I want it. Next is the Dior Solar Slip-On Trainers. I love slip-on trainers. I have van slip-on trainers. I used to buy the River Island slip-on trainers, the Topshop slip-on trainers, Primark slip-on trainers. I saw them in person and they look so much better than they do online. And I want the, like, the original oblique um, pair and yeah. And it has like a bit of a like a lift as well and it's not that expensive <laughs> i keep telling myself but yeah i'm on that and the last footwear item is actually on my vision board it's the oran sandals from hermes i love these i've wanted them for a while i've seen some people talk about them and i'm just like 
yo i want it it looks so classic and i'm gonna tell myself it's not that expensive but it is expensive yo for a pair of sandals that's literally you put your foot in you don't have to it's just you putting your foot in that's expensive but i'm gonna get it i don't care i really like it the colors that i really like is okay i like this color um i can't remember what colorway that's called or what color it's called but that's completely sold out and it's been completely sold out since beginning of december um and i've never ever seen my size um to be fair in that colorway but that's fine it is what it is it is what it is it's okay it's okay i'll get another one so the other colors i really like obviously the classic colors the white the tan or the gold and then the black the noir but the one i really want so it is either the rouge h or the rouge tometi 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 oh, i really like red i love red accessories so red bags red shoes i'm down for i really want that color either one of them um preferably the grained leather because i feel like it'll be more hard wearing whereas smooth leather i'm a clumsy bitch i will scratch it the moment i might put my toes in like my toenails oh if you saw my feet right now they're daggers yeah my toenails are daggers so i would scratch it basically and i don't want to do that to such an expensive pair of shoes i'm gonna get them i i am i'm just putting it out there into the world i will own them in 2021 so the final category is a category that i love bags handbags i have six on this list i can't count the first two are from jacquemus i love jacquemus as a brand like they're amazing enough. the first jacquemus bag that i really want is the Le chiquito nude bag i don't know if i said that right but that bag in either the blue suede oh the black leather mm. The pink suede or the orange suede. I almost bought the blue one last week, but I had to stop myself because I was like, Petra, you said you wouldn't buy luxury unless it was for a purpose, a reason, either your birthday, Christmas, or a celebration. <sighs> it's really difficult not buying these bags um, or any of these items right now, but I'm waiting on my birthday. Um, it's in a couple months. I'm hoping I'll be able to. Um, my neighbours are rude. I'm hoping I'll be able to purchase them um, around my birthday. If not, I can wait until April when shops open so I can be doing walking down Bond Street, New Bond Street, with <laughs> looking like a rich bitch. The next Jacquemus bag is the Le Bambino Grand bag, but in the brown leather oh oh yeah i want that bag imagine a white shirt one that shows the titties a little bit and then it's kind of like nice and fitted on the waist and it comes out a bit and then denim colored wide leg jeans and then heels and then oh my gosh that's such a vibe i want that bag i want that bag bad so the next bag I have on my list is from Prada and I feel like it comes under the same category as the Jacquemus bags. So in the grand scheme of things, in the world of luxury, they are more on the affordable side. So when I do purchase them, I wouldn't really get that gut-wrenching feeling in my stomach. Um, it's literally, doing the maths, it's about the same price as buying this Prada bag and the two Jacquemus bags is cheaper than buying one of the bags that I want. Um, that I'll probably get around Christmas, but um, yeah, we'll talk about that. So the Prada bag I want to get is the re-edition 2005 mini nylon bag. I want it in the barge. The barge colour is beautiful. I'm just looking at it now and I'm just falling in love even more. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Do I buy it now? No, 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 no. Come off that. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that bag. The barge is beautiful and 
that that is literally an everyday bag that you can use and i cannot wait to actually buy it really want to buy it now the next bag that i am going to get this year is the fendi mini baguette in the zucca print i've wanted this bag for ages um i originally wanted the like the original baguette but i feel like for my frame for my height it's a bit too big whereas this mini baguette is perfect i've seen it in person and it is stunning it is beautiful it comes with a top handle and it's crossbody literally top handle for evening looks going out with bay to dinner when we're allowed in restaurants crossbody when you're out shopping like it's a do everything bag and i really like it the next is the one that i'm most likely going to get myself for my birthday it's a balenciaga hourglass bag it is beautiful when i first saw it which was a few years ago i was like that's a strange shape but for some reason i like it everyone and their mum has it now and it really pissed me off but i'm like i saw it first i saw it why are you guys buying it stop <sighs> if you hear anything in the background again it's Roland. i keep saying he's rude he's rude and he barks the color i really really want is the red grained leather and it comes in gold hardware oh, i really 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 like that bag i really want it i it's not gonna like it's a love oh i love that bag i love it so much and i really want it and i'm gonna get it two more months and i'll allow myself to purchase it because we're trying to be good we're trying to save money not spend it on necessities basically the final bag in this wish list is a bag that comes with a story so i was able to get this bag you know what i wasn't able it fell into my lap like that basically when i was um 11 11 10 um obviously at that age i didn't know what it was my aunt saw it and she swindled me she hustled me she was like oh petra i'll pay you 20 pounds for that bag and me being a 10 11 year old i was like 20 pounds Yes, imagine all the sweets I can buy, all the yum yums. This is back when yum yum was what, 2p. So I sold it to her. And then I came to find out that this bag was a beautiful, very expensive vintage bag that I could not get. Anyway, I'm going to buy it this year. I have decided this will be my Christmas present to myself and it's the Christian Dior mini saddle in the oblique print. So the one that I found or that fell into my lap was, um, it was a denim version and it was, well, ugh, it was like early 2000s limited edition denim version again i don't like like large bags not the large bags just like bags that are, look too big on my frame i've seen the normal size saddle and i feel like how i would rock it um mainly crossbody i would be able to or even having it like just um shoulder bag i feel like it's just too big for my frame so the mini saddle fits perfectly and i want it in the original the bleep i've seen like the black velvet with like the silver hardware and it has diamantes and i'm just like oh is it velvet or is it satin whichever one it is stunning but i mean more towards the bleak that's my 2021 wish list i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what are some of the items you have on your luxury wish list for this year i'd really like to know maybe i can add a few take away a few also let me know what you think about my wish list maybe i will come back and redo this video once i've got a few things from my list but i really hope you enjoy it and i'll see you in my next video which is gonna be a valentine's is coming haul yeah See you then. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.